All right, students, this is the last section for Unit 8. And the reading strategy talks about reading for opinions and reasons. So look for the author's reasons that justify their view. So you got to identify their view and then look for the reasons that justify it. And positive statements, positive or negative adjectives or modifiers, and words that mean success, achievement, popularity, public recognition will give you the author's opinion and reasons for it. So this is how you find the opinion, and this is how you find the reasons that justify their opinion. So your homework says to listen and read the text in the blanks, write the correct paragraph heading, and then complete exercise C. All right. Here is the reading section. It has three sections. Here are the three headings. So you got to write which heading you think is correct for one, which one for two, and which one for three. So listen and read along in your book. Reading. Activity B. Read and match each review with the correct heading. Is it possible not to like Mozart? He was a true musical genius whose work covers an amazing range of genres, from opera, concertos, and symphonies, to chamber music, choral compositions, and sonnets. He could convey such a wide range of conflicting feelings in his work, from the light-hearted to the heartbreaking, from the nail-biting to the terrifying, and above all, the force of life. He was heavily in debt and troubled most of his life, yet all that seemed to provide him with the inspiration that he needed to create his masterpieces. His music represents life itself, from the fluttering movements of a butterfly's wings to the restless wanderings of a tormented soul, breaking suddenly into an explosion and celebration of life. What a picture of a better world you have given us, Mozart. Franz Schubert John Lennon's first solo album, released on December 11, 1970, was a major success. Many of the Beatles songs written by John Lennon and Paul McCartney were about friendship, happiness, peace, and freedom. Lennon became an activist later in his life and wrote protest songs about world issues. He was well known for his powerful, emotional performances and singing. He could play a wide range of instruments, but did not consider himself a very good guitarist. His song, Give Peace a Chance, in 1969, was sung by 500,000 demonstrators protesting against the Vietnam War. His most famous song, Imagine, written in 1971, represented what he truly believed, that we are all one country, one world, one people. This is also his legacy. Lenin was an influential artist whose charisma has lived on. Despite recent publications that accuse John Lennon of violent and abusive behavior, I cannot help thinking of his music rather than the man. He never denied his failings and believed that his transformation in later life had been brought about by exactly those failings and faults. I think his unique voice and music are healing, and I depend on them to give me hope. A key ah, okay. So, because we're changing the page, the audio is going to quit, so I will read this one to you. Aikido combines Japanese martial arts and its creator's philosophy of universal peace and reconciliation. It focuses on training practitioners to defend themselves while protecting their opponents from injury. It requires understanding the rhythm and intentions of the opponent in order to identify the optimal positioning or optimal position 
and timing to move to defend yourself without hurting your opponent. As in all Japanese martial arts, Aikido requires physical and mental training. Physical training concentrates on relaxation, correct movement, flexibility, and endurance. There is less emphasis on strength training compared to other martial arts. I find Aikido a fluid and true combination of forces that unify life energy. It helps me achieve a sense of harmony within myself, my opponent, and my surroundings. Concern about your opponent helps you refocus your energy in the most positive way possible and reveals paths that you didn't know existed. I would not choose any other form of martial art for this reason alone. All right, that is everything. So we have an influential artist, the art of peace and celebrating life. All right, so if you look here, an explosion and celebration of life. So celebrating life is number one. There you go. And then number two, it is speaking about John Lennon. And look, he had 500,000 people singing his song to protest the Vietnam War. So an influential artist is number two. And then number three, the art of peace is number three. So here you go, peace and reconciliation. So there you go, the art of peace is number three. Now, exercise C, read each review and underline. Words and phrases that praise or comment on each person or his art. So praise is when you talk positive. Like, for instance, when you guys do something good, I'm like, hey, great job. You did this very well. That is praise. Facts that justify the reviewer's comments. A fact is something you can prove. For instance, this part right here, sung by 500,000 protesters. You can look that up. That did happen. All right, so you need to do this in each one of these three paragraphs. So underline the words and phrases that praise or comment on the art and facts that justify the reviewer's comment. We are not doing D. Do not worry about exercise D. You are finished with Unit 8. Congratulations. I look forward to seeing some of you tomorrow. For the others that do not come tomorrow, remember, if you need help, please send me a message. Adios.